Hey guys, what's up? So today in this episode, I'm gonna make a fire effect and I'm gonna show you how to make from this to this picture using Adobe Photoshop and it's a very simple way. Just watch and learn. So what's up guys? Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create very cool effect. Uh, if you like to play with fire, and create very cool effects. I think fire is actually a very, very cool thing to show you. And we're gonna talk about how make the image look very realistic. So this video might be a little bit long, uh, but I promise you guys, you're gonna learn a lot using uh, Adobe Photoshop. And uh, I wanna show you uh, my image, uh, what I did. Uh, I got very big engagement on uh, my social media about this picture. It's actually my previous work I did before and I decided to make it very very look cool. Uh, this is how it looks before, you know, just regularly nice witchcraft stuff and the girl was playing with the doll. And that time when I took that picture actually it was just for fun but I really didn't know how to do editing and this time like I did my masterpiece, I think so. So I want to teach you how to do this cool effect of the flame on the doll. And it's not just put a flame and we're going to explain you about it a little bit more. Okay, so I want to show you. Okay, let's just remove that. Okay, and we're going to start all beginning. Okay, let's go and I have my flame here. Okay, so let's just drag it over here. There you go. Let's do not show me again. Okay, so when you already drag it, you see you have this frame. So how are we gonna read of it? I'm gonna show it later. First I do comment T, okay, transformation and shift option. So we're gonna actually squeeze it exactly. Then we're gonna move it above our door. Again, shift option. That will give me exactly the way I wanna move it. Let me just zoom it a little bit so we can see better. A little bit. And awesome. Okay. And put enter. Now we pulled our flame. Now we want to read of this frame that I told you about it. So we're going to go here on the layer and we're going to put screen. Okay. So what basically happened now? You see what happened to the frame? We still can see it. So let's put it on light. Now we don't see it. Wow. Cool. So you don't have to crop it, anything, you just put it over there. So basically what happened is just working on the colors that behind the image. If it's a lighter colors or the dark colors, you will just adjustify them. So basically what we have over here, it's all black on the flame. So the black color basically become opacity. And that's cool, you don't have to crop it, anything. And I think that's very, very, make it very, very easy. Now, another thing you can see here, an the image, they have like a paper burning and stuff. And we're going to read of this one stuff. It's very, very simple. And we just go layer mask, put our brush tool, and be on white layer mask. We're going to go on black. Let's put a little bit more opacity on it. And we're just going to delete those stuff, like, and really no big deal. Okay, that's it. Now, what well, next I want to do is make it more visualistic. If it's already burning, you should have a little bit more flame on the hair. So let's do no layer, brush tool, and I'm going to pick option key, and I'm just going to select my a fire color. And I'm going to go over here, the hair. Okay, just like this, not too much. It's just, I want to show you guys what it's going to look like. Just put a little bit yellowish. And now what I'm going to do, filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and put a little bit blur like this. Set OK. And we go to a soft light, and you can see it got a little bit flame on it. Now, what I do like it, another layer, and this time I want to go with black. Okay, let's just select black for me from the background. And why black? Because if you see a real fire, it kind of have this blackness through that. So I'll show you. And let's go soft light. And you can see it starts to look like very, very realistically pretty. 
and to make it more sure it will look realistically guys here and yeah, let's do a little bit blur on it okay i think we will go let's see before and after i think we're good guys so now we got our flame on the doll but it still doesn't look realistically and explain me why Basically, fire, it's a light, it's spears of light, like flash, we use them, but it's not that strong like flash, but we still previously can see it, and it's very yellowish in colors. So I give examples, do no layer, I'm gonna take a sphere, and I'm gonna actually draw it for you like this. So that's pretty much where the light gonna hit. And let's put, Let's move it a little bit. So, see, on button. Okay, so let's move it a little bit, and you can see it. And you can see it's actually very good heat. But not only that, we're talking about three dimensional image. Okay, first of all, this is the front of the camera, and what there is in the back. So, obviously, it's not going to heat on the back. So, I'm going to show you in the understand later. So, what we're going to do, shift delete. And we're gonna select color and press OK. Now, what happens? You're gonna this color suggestion. Uh, we're gonna pick same color as the flame and push OK. What happened? I'm gonna show you. We got all the colors, specifically all the sphere. We actually got selected. Why we doing that? You're gonna see it later. Okay. What we're gonna do again, like we did previously before, put it on soft light. And what happened? All the light just fall on our subject. I show you like look before and look after. So you can see exactly how to look at it. We see what happened? It got in the back. So we don't need it on our back. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put a, our layer mask. We're gonna go with our brush and we're just gonna delete the areas we don't want to. But of course you see we have a straight line. So we're gonna blur them later. But first, let me just read of those areas that I want to share. You want to hit. I don't want to hit the back of it. It's not really my purpose. I want to make it look at possibly realistically. Because again, we don't really have the flame on our image. And now, let's do, let's go back to the layer. We, and we go again, blur. And we're going to go Gaussian blur. If you're gonna see my videos, I'm using a lot of time guys on Blur. I think it just makes it very, very cool. Okay, I think a little bit more Blur. More Blur just to spread the colors over it. There you go. I think we're good. Let me see before and after. And I still see we have a little bit on the top. Okay, it's always good to see before and after so you see you didn't make any mistakes and always work with the layer mask it just make it so convenient to just go over those areas that you don't want to hit and here you just want to remove here too a little bit and let me see i think we're good by the way guys if you're using a draw pad i'm gonna show you this is amazing tool i'm telling you if you're working on photoshop and using editing tool, even retouching, this is just amazing tool to use and work for it. So highly recommend it. If you don't have it, you should buy one. Okay, you don't have to buy the most expensive ones. Okay, and this is just very convenient by himself. Okay, now what I wanna show you next, okay? We did very nicely. It looks almost realistically, but we wanna make it very realistically and I explain you why. Okay, we're gonna work a little bit like dodging and I explain you what it means. Okay, dodging basically we're gonna make the dark spots to make them much more lighter. Okay, and that's what we call dodging. And let's go to our spots like we have the darkness like here, right? Obviously it's not supposed to be dark because we have flame coming up, so we need to brighten them out. And I'm gonna show you, we're gonna do a little bit different. This time we're gonna take the brush tool. We're gonna pick again, option, pick the color. Okay, remember option allowed us to pick any color we want. So we want specifically same color of the flame. Okay, now what we're gonna show you is see that dress. 
we want to make it down so the fire comes on it and create highlights so what we're going to do okay obviously we don't have any highlights to use in this image because the image was originally black no way all right so we'll go back example okay like previously image of course will not have anything right it was just very very darkness so what we're going to show you let's put uh curves and i want to get a little bit little bit more brighter so if we can see exactly what i'm talking about you see without the using curves we couldn't see the dress okay now we can see the dress completely nicely okay now what basically see what happened we can see the square here oh so what i should do if it happens that's mean it's not quite rid of it it still have it so what we can do we can just go here put option key and we're just gonna go and remove the dark spots and it completely gonna rid of it okay but if it's that on those cases you will see when you're working and you're trying to put it on dark or light or screen mode it will doesn't do anything this is actually the most fun way to do it too okay i'm just trying to show you if you have quick fast ways to work on photoshop i think that's be convenient can save you time all right so where was it okay let's create new layer and now we can see more of the dress let's put brush tool and just press b okay let's we already select our color of the light and we're just gonna draw like this okay now i know it doesn't look perfect but what i'm trying to do okay i will just try and create some highlights okay just basically old-fashioned way draw them okay feel yourself as a painter right now and trying to draw a little bit more of the highlights as possible like this and just a little bit like this again it doesn't have to be perfect lines again we're going to blur them later we just i'm just trying to draw some highlights like cool hands a little bit on the bra here and we're gonna make it here too okay i think you get started getting better okay now let's go back and let's put filter blur and guys some more again as i told you of course we're not gonna go that blurry we want just a little bit blur just let me see which one be better let's put something like this okay and now i'm gonna go soft light now look what happened it changed all the image you can see we just basically add more highlights to the image and look how cool it looks it looks like you get in the light from the flames it's crazy right all right so next thing we're gonna do new layer always work with layers trying to create more layers possible and it's just gonna be very easy and we're gonna show you that too later why now we're gonna do more highlights on the on the couch now specifically what you should know it's the way the light work like the far away it hits the less lighter brightness is gonna be and the more closer to the light it's gonna be very very bright so in our image the light be very bright especially on, on the couch area right here and here we should have less so we can work with opacity if necessary to remove some of the light what i want you to do guys just let's put our brush tool and do it again and just here when we're gonna draw we just not gonna draw like small lines like we did before you're gonna just draw very very big because it's all this area it's flat areas okay you have to understand the surface of the object like the dress was not flat object you have those curves curves on the dresses and so we're trying to make those lines like the curves of the dress here i just a, a sofa and pretty much we're just trying to draw it a light on it so it's very very flat subject and let's do a little bit here 
think this is the most areas the light can hit. So I'm going to do it here. All right. And what we're going to do next, guys, you probably guessed it. Okay, we're going to go to filter and we're going to go gas and blow my favorite one too. Okay, and we're going to move a little bit blurry like this. I think that will be kind of cool. All right, save it. And next, we're going to do soft light and look what happened looks cool okay and i think this is makes it very very bright because of the light next to it next we're going to do another layer and this time we're going to do our model see what i'm trying to do i'm trying to do separation from which part light i want to hit it's the subject the model i want to make this separation on all the subjects now here in our model, the most parts the light's gonna hit, it's probably gonna be the nose, the forehead, that's gonna be the most parts that the light's gonna hit, chin, cheeks, okay, this bone right here, it's always get more light, okay, and this little bit bra bone here, it's gonna get the most of the light, okay, now this area is gonna get the most of the light, and a little bit here just like a line okay we're not going to put all of it remember we're trying to make it look realistically so like this here now i'm going to put a little bit on her dress a little bit more on her feather thing right here like that and I want to show you how cool trick we do the hair. We're going to take very, very small size of the brush like this. Don't ever, even a little bit less, I say a little bit like this, even one pixel. But I'll explain yourself. And if you use big brush, it will not make it look realistically. Because hair lights, it's sharp to be very, 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 very gentle like this. So we're just going to throw it like this. It looks very very cool very very cool let me just take more yellowish a little bit more here a little bit more here a little bit more here okay and we'll go filter again you guess it guys in blue now put a little bit less a little bit less blur, I'd say like this be fine. And let's put soft light, of course, my favorite tool. Okay, now you see here it's a little bit less it's because we use very gently. Now here we're going to spread a little bit more light, but this one is going to be a very bit less opacity. Like this, I say, like 70% opacity. So we're going to do the same thing and it's a little bit less more opacity okay i'm just going to put yellow and of course my favorite tool before you know it, i missed it i want to put the leg oh leg gonna get more light okay we want to draw as more possible light heating areas here now if you see i don't put on a black because there's no reason to put it on black it will not make it look brighter it's gonna make it only the lighter colors not black okay and we're gonna do again filter blower and we're gonna put gas and blower as well we're gonna make it blurry as possibly we can that's too much blurry like this I think a little bit less okay I think that'd be good and then we're gonna go soft light looks cool now of course the leg I don't like the way it looks like so we're just gonna go brush let's put our opacity back to 100 and we're just gonna or maybe I'll put less opacity you know what let's make it interested let's do like this 
Ah, there you go. How cool is that now? Looking very, very nice. Very, very nice. I like it the way it comes out. Okay, now we got the lights on the leg. Okay, now I want to do another layer. And this time I want to make it very gently. You see, it still have the black line. I want to make it disappear. So this time, let's put it a hundred. And I just basically draw it away. Align. That's what I like this. The draw part, you can actually draw those things very, very nicely. All right, and same tool, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Let's put it like this. And let's go to soft lights, my favorite tool. Now, if you see soft light, as long as you can go on hard light and might change it. And if remember last time I showed you the blackness, well, let me see if it does anything interested. So I'm just can go here. There you go. Let's see before and after. Well, let's do a layer mask. And I want to show you exactly what I like. There you go. And because we use the blower, I'm going to spread it here. Okay, that's cool. We got our model here. Okay, we got our yellow light. Very, very nice. I like the way it falls here and our subject. Now, if you're not sure if you like it, you can always play with it a little bit more. But again, I want to just guys, you understand the idea and then you can do it yourself in home practices. It's always better. Let's put a little bit more filter. Let me see if it does better result here. Okay, I think it got way, way better on the image. Okay, so we got the idea of the highlights. Now, I want to show you something very, very cool we can do. I want to add sparks to the flame. Now, let's put our brush tool. Let's do opacity 100. And on our brush tool, okay, uh, I want to show you we can actually pick a brush. Uh, pick one, somebody who already existed one. So you can see, let's see which one to create the sparks from the flame. Uh, something nicer, a bit closer. Again, you can always create one. I just want to make it very, very quick so you get the idea. So let's go to the shapes. Let's spread it a little bit more. Okay. On this, I want to show you if I got, let me see, size. Okay, this is what I want. This size be okay. No texture. A little bit like this. Okay, just a little bit. I know it doesn't look real now, so I'm gonna show you. Filter, blur, and we're gonna do motion blur. Now what motion blur do, you will see it makes those sparks a little bit more realistically. Okay, and I know we don't like it. Let's put E, a little bit of rest, so you look like it comes out from the flame. And let's do another one, same thing. Okay, I put our B. And filter, blur, motion blur. 
let's put this one a little bit vertical way let's put a little bit less lower like this okay and we'll put a little bit of opacity on it okay it doesn't have to be like perfectly okay there you go now it looks very 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 cool okay i think we got the idea of the flames now let me just turn the cross layer so you can see how does it look more on the dark one the darkness because in the cross you can see it's too much bright and we don't see flame so much but if you put darker you can really see the flame and look how nicely it falls in our model just gonna zoom in for you guys so you can very very really see closely and you can see how very very nicely all this fall in our subject very 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 nicely too okay and i will actually will add a little bit more so you can see just add a little bit on oops i need to remove to normal okay and just gonna put a little bit here on the notebook and we're just gonna yeah delete a little bit more there you go okay wanna make it look very very nicely on the book so it will look a little bit more realistically again guys you can always add more stuff if you want to if you think you can even put it on the subject here but i don't think the flame will reach her so much i pretty much i told you the sphere it's not gonna be that far okay so it will be only that area will reach the flame so far and this is where you want to focus to make it look very very realistically okay so we're done making the flame okay just gonna show you something very very cool and extra guys so you can do it later i think it would be nice to make like this i like to create cool stuff sometimes i do soft light okay and i want to like to make the colors on my image look like solid a little bit solid because sometimes i see my images i want to put a little bit coldness so i like to put blue or a little bit teal color to my images and i think that would make it look very very sick and this is the whole idea of this picture you want to make it look sick as possible okay and let's go again and this time i want to change color to black okay and this one too need to be changed to black okay let's put okay now angle the way i want it to come you see what happened it changed okay let's put okay i think so right let's put soft light and you can see it's got black now let's say i don't want to get it too much you can just play here with skull and you can see how's the see has going to go away start to go a little bit away and this is what i want I want to make it look very, very, very nice. A little bit more opacity. I think it looks cool. Very, very cool. Now I want darkness from the bottom so it can put more uh, attention to the flame. I change it to black. And this one to black. Okay. We're okay. Now we're going to save and we'll put less opacity we don't want to make it too much but you can see what happened it brings more attention to the so we want to make it very very flashy the idea of the flame so you can actually see it how does it going to look in our image and this is very 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 important because that's the whole idea we want to make our picture pumping and so i think that's actually end of our video and uh, I hope you guys learned a lot from this video tutorial how to create very very cool effect okay uh, I want to show you how it looks before and after so you can see if it's totally done about it and you can see like before and after before and after I think it's very 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 cool what we did um, and yeah I think in this video we can learn a lot uh, but editing in photoshop especially working with highlight and understanding the way the light works because we working on 
the way that we didn't want to create it was not real there we're trying to build it and we're trying to make it realistic as possible so it will not look like it's a photoshop and i think that's very very cool and we're all trying to make big things and create big things and we always scared to fail and i was told you never scared to fail and i hope this video teach you a lot so you can put you there and give you some homework or put you there and try to create much more bigger work okay so i'm not going to talk about too much about uh, creativity but with this call but we i want to end this video and i want to thank you guys for watching and watching all this time the video and if you really really like it please subscribe me and my youtube channel so i can make more videos and please leave me some comments below if you have any questions if it's about this video or on a future video which you like to make it's learning about how to use some tools in photoshop and i appreciate for any support of you guys uh, i will actually would love to if you follow me on instagram too as well it will build my reputation followers as well and you guys will can check my new updates for workspace so thank you guys i hope you enjoy very 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 much i appreciate for all each one of you who watch this video and i hope you i hope i'm going to help you guys to much more get better on your creativity on your editing skills and i hope i'm doing a good writing for you guys all right i hope you having a wonderful day guys bye and see you in the next video